Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And um, for anybody that doesn't know me, I'm Danny. I'm fairly new to YouTube, and um, so please excuse the nerves. And um, today I decided to do a boyfriend does my voiceover video. And um, it's a trend going about YouTube, and I thought, why not get myself involved in it? And um, the look I created is this look. It's just a very natural, everyday kind of makeup wear. I'm going to work today, so I didn't want to do anything too dramatic. Um, so if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. And if you like, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Well, I can't even speak today. Um, just another quick note before I go. Um, I only uploaded my first video two days ago, and the support I have got from so many people i am like i'm so overwhelmed i can't believe the views and the subscribes i've got already it means a lot to me thank you so much to whoever has supported me so far i love you guys okay okay you can stop talking now <laughs> it's my turn hey guys um i'm here to do donnie's uh, voiceover she's just starting off very simply with some foundation across her face and she's rubbing it in with a brush that she got in Primark that nobody really knows the name of um I don't think it's very important anyway. She's moving on to some concealer. Uh, she's moving that on. Uh, she's rubbing it on to her spots. Very simply to cover them up. Uh, to hide them. You know, obviously she's got loads of them. She, she definitely needs to do that. And then she's using the strange egg anomaly. She's doing more uh, concealer under her eyes. Kind of like some sort of Illuminati war paint. Now she's going off to hunt some animals. Uh, the weird egg anomaly is coming in once again and she's using it to blend it all in to rub it all in especially getting into them corners around the eyes and uh, she's blending all that in nicely so after taking her time at that she goes on to some Evicky Evicky loose powder whatever it just goes on um, in a semicircle around the eyes and um, sort of around everywhere so it seems and then she's gonna hit you with the face why not? It has to be done. After that, she's going to show you some writing. You can't really read. Um, I know I can't anyway. And um, after having a hard time opening it, she's going to move on to your eyebrows. So very simply, what you want to do with the eyebrows is you want to make sure you are doing it um, the same on both sides, the same length, the same width. They do have to be symmetrical or women freak the hell out and make you feel really bad for it if you don't have them symmetrical kind of like when you see it you can't unsee it sort of thing yeah like that i'm just gonna leave her with that she's gonna hit you with the face again i gotta keep them views coming in and then she's gonna continue on to her eyebrows she's gonna sort of uh, polish it off and then she's gonna move on to some eyeshadow this is uh, a strange white shade as in the name of it is actually strange not that it's strange, but the actual name of the color is strange. She's going to move on to some other palette or some other eyeshadow palette color. And it's, um, I think it's called the Noner shade or the Lunar shade. That one. Uh, she's going to blend it all in again around that area, making sure it's all nice and smooth. She's going to hit you again with another factory shade. Again, this is all part of the same palette. It's the Naked 3 palette. Um, all the products, by the way, will be linked in the description if anyone wants to, um, if anyone is interested in getting any of them. She's going to show you half a palette, which is Collection Eyes Uncovered. And she's going to make another weird face. She's going to use one of the colors from it and blend it all above under her eyeshadows. And uh, again, she's going to keep doing that. And then she's going to use the Naked 3 palette again. And she's going to use the Shimmer a color off of that and uh, she's going to do it around the eyes and just the same stuff really just blend it all in make it nice and then um, <clears throat> that's it she's going to put on a bit of a lip balm for whatever reason but she's going to do it and uh, then she's going to put on some what is that eyeliner mascara it's a it's one of the two she's going to complain about something you know keep the views coming in and then she's going to carry on with her eyelashes. Again, they do have to be done the same on both sides. And um, you wouldn't want one, one side being longer than the other or whatever. 
it doesn't really make much of a difference and probably most people can't see it but it does make women's life hell when they can't when they notice it even though nobody else has noticed it so she's doing that and stuff and she's loving it she's obviously having a very good time notice how she um it gets happier as the video goes on it starts with like a demon now she's sort of you know kind of half human we don't really know what she is yet we're still trying to figure it out and then um, <clears throat> at this point she drops something yeah she drops something and she gives you the super sad slow-mo look not many people survive it i do i do i have to warn you that it's very sad look at that oh my god and she's going to just basically grieve over it and she's going to show you what the damage is done is completely fell out and no why why this why that because you dropped it that's why uh, she's going to show you the next color and she's going to move on now this is a contouring palette this is the revelation ultra contour palette and she's going to contour contour uh, the outline of her forehead and her cheekbones now when you're contouring you cannot go straight down and straight across you have to go along with your cheekbones and you have to do some sort of weird duck face to bring out your cheekbones into properly get it and um, properly get it on uh, otherwise it doesn't really have an effect or, or otherwise it's just a really bad effect you don't want to have too much of it on but you don't want to have too little either so make sure that you're blending it in very well as you're adding on more and more and uh, then she goes on to the Bonjour's blush, bonjour, bon, bonjour, whatever blush. Uh, the weird egg anomaly thing is coming on, and what she's doing here, she's doing, I think, a technical baking, which basically highlights or um, it gives more of a an outstanding effect to her contour. And um, then again, she's highlighting her face and what some stuff. She's gonna hit you with a super slow mo to show you what it should look like roughly so you have the contour the backing or the the beating or the backing and the highlight and on the side of the face she's going to just top it off very quickly with some with another shade and uh, she's going to do the corner of her eyes and that is the brightest shade of the revolution ultra contour palette <clears throat> she's going to hit you again with the faces next is going on to some maybe line lip liner a Mabel line, a maybe liner, whatever, lip liner. She's going to do that. Um, again, notice how all the colors are relatively the same. She doesn't have any wacky colors going on. It is a natural look. If you do have some sort of green eyeshadow or something, that's not exactly very natural. She's keeping it all similar. And then she's going to show you the overall transforming look. But dumb, here it is. It's going to hit you with some slow-mo shots, making sure that you really know how it should look. It doesn't take that long. This is a super easy, even beginner, natural look. Anyone can do it. And um, thanks very much for watching. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Any feedback or anything, just leave it in the comments. We always do love to hear some feedback. And again, as I said, thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next time.